What's up, everyone? Uh, my name is White Hat, and going to be doing a run of Mega Man Powered Up for the PSP. We see a little, uh, oh, it's not going to show the cool intro. All right, so we're just going to get, get right into it. Uh, I'm going to be running New Style. There's also another mode called Old Style, which I'll explain in just a second. I'm going to be playing on Easy because that is the fastest. Uh, it's actually, you can you can play and unlock every single boss. You can play through the whole game as them. But we're going to be playing as Mega Man, and we're going to be using uh, this option, which allows us to slide and charge. So, yeah, we're just going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, so yeah, this is a remake of Mega Man 1 on the NES. This came out on the PSP in 2006, I believe. Uh... New style adds two more bosses, so it turns it uh, into eight total bosses like all like the subsequent NES games. Uh, here's Dr. Wily stealing all the robots. You actually get to see it in a cutscene this time. Uh, we started off as just regular Mega, and after that cutscene, we are Mega Man. We are able to charge, we are able to slide now, we have our suit on. And this is sort of like the first little tutorial stage. And we get to our first sort of mini boss. Here's Dr. Wily with his comically sized bag filled with uh, the robot masters. So you can hold a charge into a boss fight just like I did and then as long as you're letting go of uh, the shoot button it'll automatically buffer as soon as it's possible. Uh, charge shots stun bosses so you see he's getting stunned. The flashing is iframes. I, can I can't do damage there. And the giant big guy doesn't really have much of a chance to do anything. <laughs> right. You're gonna see that's the, the theme of the game, the boss fights, uh, is that you can stun them a lot. So timing for, for actual speedruns for this is done with in-game time. So uh, after the levels you get an in-game time. You actually unfortunately have to add it up yourself. It doesn't give a full game in-game time. But here's our first level. This is a new level, this is Oil Man. And the gimmick here, you see there's oil on the ground there. If you if you try and walk on that, uh, you will slip and fall and get your stun for a... It feels like an eternity. It's like a couple of seconds. So we're gonna... Our goal is not slip on the oil here. <laughs> and you'll see the reason why we're doing Oil Man first. Uh, once we get to subsequent levels. Uh, oil can also be lit on fire by these fire guys. You see it right there. So when it's unlit, it's slippery and you can slip on it and it feels bad. So you need to land on it, let go of the d-pad and then jump again and then once you're once you're uh, in the air you can move again. There you're gonna see a slide. Sliding in this game uh, is actually much slower than just walking. So there's very few spots where I'm going to use it. I'll use it like right here, because when you slide on the oil, you will not slip. So I'm going to take a little damage boost off the sprinkler there, and also once you're in iframes, uh, you will not slip on the oil. So there's, yeah, this is one of two new levels. Uh, the, the difference between new style and old style, uh, old style is a one-to-one -one remake, or in this engine of Mega Man 1. So, the levels are exactly the same. Whereas this, the... Even the, uh... Oh, there's a slip. Nice. <laughs> so that's what happens when you slip. It feels bad. So, yeah, we got the first boss here, Oil Man. Our, uh... Our goal is to get him in a, a loop where we can keep attacking him. So we're gonna buffer a charge here. So I'm not going to hold anything, and we're going to automatically shoot. And then as he's jumping out of the stun, I'm going to try and hit him in the air here. Just like that. And now if you keep hitting him, he just keeps running around the room like this. It's actually a pretty annoying boss. He'll, he'll, he'll get really high up on the wall and get an air shot. Oh, there we go, the swag air shot. So that's the, that's the, the stun loop there. And... Yeah, you can put in a donation here in between levels. That'd be great. Nice. Ready? Let's go. 
All right, well, we're... Elect Man is next. Uh, we're pretty much going to go in boss order weaknesses at this time. Uh, for, for, like, the rest of all the Robot Masters. So we did the, the start of level pretty quick, so we're going to make this cycle on the Yoku Blocks. The interesting thing with the Yoku Blocks in this game... Uh, I'll explain that in a second. So, we have the oil power-up, and what oil allows you to do is get on the oil slick, and you ride it sort of like a, a skateboard, surfboard, and you see how, how much quicker... You can do little skips like this, you can jump off it in mid-air, and it allows you to do, like, little small shortcuts. Ooh, let's go for the fast strat. Nice. So if you're very quick getting iframes there, and jumping off the platform, you can you can beat that electricity. All right, we're climbing the comically tall ladder. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So this this is the most vertical level, just like the original was. There's no no magnet beam to get in this level. There is a magnet beam in the old style run, which I think is actually pretty cool. I think it sounds and looks way cooler than the original. Uh, we can, we're fast swapping weapons with L and R. Don't have to go into the pause menu at all. See, so by jumping off midair, we're, we're able to do little skips like that. And, yeah, that was, that was actually a really good level. So, uh, Elect Man's weakness is oil, but it's not the little oil spot you put on the ground. You have to be riding it. So we're gonna be math here. We didn't get on it. Okay, there we go. Whew. I'll do a little back up there. It's it's actually a little tight to get on the oil slick there. So when you're on it, this is his weakness. And that was fine. Unfortunately, didn't get on it immediately. It's it's hard in this this small this small boss arena to to get on it sometimes. Well, that was actually a best time for that level. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so now we're gonna move to Guts Man. This is actually Ready? the most dangerous screen in the game, so we're gonna maybe focus for just like a second here. Let's go, okay. So with oil, you can skip every, if you played Mega Man 1, you know how annoying those little, uh, these platforms are with like, Carefully time jumps. That one is, I think, the harder one to hit. We're going to be trying another one right here. To skip these platforms. Nice. We got both of the skips. That's perfect. Those are the two scariest screens in the game, in my opinion. Where it's easiest to die. So you can see how, how awesome the... Uh, oops. How awesome the oil slick is, like, you're just, we're moving so fast. We can do cool stuff like this, like jumping over this big eye. And took a little bit more damage than I would like here, so... We're gonna, we're gonna try and be careful here against Guts. <laughs> so our strat against Guts is, we're gonna be using Alec. And... It's not his full weakness, I don't, I don't know what, remember what his full weakness is. But based on what weapon you use on bosses, uh, they get variable length uh, iframes. So you want to avoid using... Alright, cool. It's easy to jump into his block when you're trying to jump over. So, uh, using their, their full weakness against them, you don't want to do that for most of the bosses because their iframes last a really long time and you're going to be unable to do damage during that whole time. So it's often better to, to use a slightly weaker weapon and have, have uh, less iframes to deal with. So here's our second brand new level. Oil Man was our first, and now we are on Time Man. So this is our second of two new levels to bring us to eight total Robot Masters. Uh, yeah, a lot of long horizontal levels. This is where oil is really, really good. Oh, there's a slide. 
So sliding is actually much slower than walking. So yeah, I'll, I'll only use it in like a handful of spots where you have to, which I'm actually a fan of. So this is this is the second Mega Man game I've run. I've run Mega Man One on NES back way back in the ancient times, like 2015. Uh, and then this is the second second one I've run. So I haven't run any of the sliding Mega Mans. So I'm actually pretty happy that sliding is slower in this. <laughs> So, you don't have to worry about sliding the whole run in this. The only sliding we're doing is... Oh no, that's Why did I jump there? Yeah, pretty, pretty good level there. Oh! Sniper Joe got me. So, Time Man is uh, scripted. It's pretty much scripted. Most of the boss fights in this, uh, unlike the original Mega Man 1 and like most Mega Man games, uh, there's like not much RNG. If you do the boss fight the same way every time, you're gonna be you're gonna get the same results. So this first phase, we want to hit him five times. So there's our five. Second one, we're gonna want to hit him three times. So he's invincible once he's when he's doing that attack. And then last phase, there we go. And then this is his weakness is Elec. So we get him down to six health. That weapon does six, and we don't have to deal with the stun the stunned animation after defeating him since it's the final hit so save the big weakness for last so we finished all the that was the two two new bosses now all the rest of these bosses should recognize okay, the levels are remixed so they're similar like they feel similar but there's they're also quite a bit different I just, these, these couple of rooms are like really fun with how you're able to just like quickly move horizontally and vertically with the oil slick. Yeah, I was, I was interested in running this game and I was watching, I watched the, checking out the, the world record at the time and I was like, yeah, this looks okay. And then we got past oil man's stage and I saw they used this oil slick like a ton. And I was like, "Oh, this is this movement looks really fun." So that's that's why I actually decided to to pick it up. The the old style category doesn't interest me a ton. It's uh, there's no real tricks or anything, so it's just pure like basic movement, which I'm I am not the best at. So oh, here we go! Watch out for the spikes. So, since you can jump off the oil slick, you can cut that extremely close. Big guy? Big jump? No. So, one of the small random things is those big guys can either do a big jump or a little jump. That one, that one almost always gives me a small jump and hits me. Cutman is a very aggressive boss, always running at you. But we're going to try and manipulate him a little like that. So just like in the original, if he gets too close to you, he will jump. So we're going to do Buster until he gets down to, to, I think it's 4 HP, and then hit him with the charge shot, and we don't have to worry, again, we don't have to worry about getting super long iframes because that was our final hit on him. So Cut Man down, now we're on to Bomb Man. Go. We got to hear... Dr. Wily for a second, I think. <clears throat> so bomb. Very important to, to not lose your oil slick. It's it can be tough to get it back on some of these levels or some of these screens. Uh, yeah, if you run into any vertical surface like a wall or anything, you will uh, immediately lose. So you see, I slow down there, but. That little bit of slowing down is totally worth it to to not bump into something. Screens like this where you just you're immediately at the top. I, I love that. That's why the oil slick is like so fun. I swear I can never remember that one jump. <laughs> so yeah, growing up I had uh, we had Mega Man One, Mega Man Two, and 
Mega Man 6. We went from 1 to 2 to 6. So, feel free to shout out in the chat, which, which Mega Mans did you start out playing as a kid? I definitely have, like, major fond memories of Mega Man 1. Mega Man 6 might be my favorite. I don't know that I'd ever speedrun it, but definitely spent a lot of time with that. So Bomb, you're gonna do one hit and Oh, we're gonna we're gonna miss. Solid. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so if you time this just right. Uh yeah, this happens. <laughs> So yeah, we only have two, two Robot Masters left. We had that unfortunate whiff there on the boss. So we're going to Ice now. Ice is actually going to be one of the easiest uh, Robot Masters because oil floats on water and there's a lot of water in this level. There's a fast strat we can get right here. If we can get on the oil. Okay, cool, cool. We can get the fast strat here. So, the Yoku Blocks here. The interesting thing about Yoku Blocks, that's what these are called. The Disappearing and Reappearing Blocks. They're called Yoku Blocks. Uh, most Mega Man games, uh, they, they start activating and going through their pattern when you get on screen with them. Uh, I don't know, I think there might be one or two other Mega Man games where, like this, they are, they're on a global timer from when the level starts. So in order to hit that cycle that I hit, which was the which was the fast cycle, I was able to stay on the oil slick the whole time. Uh, I had to go non-stop, like without messing up at all, from the, uh, the start of the level, which is which is quite different. For like none of the other NES Mega Mans do that. I heard maybe Mega Man Nine and Ten might do that, but it's a pretty rare thing. It's usually when you get on the screen. All right, so the strat for Iceman here is to just do this. <laughs> you don't really have to mash that hard. So we get him down to there, and then we do a one bomb. The bomb is is the the full weakness, which would give super long stunned iframes. So mash him down, and then and hit him with the bomb at the end. And we're on to our last Robot Master. Fireman. Do you have time for a quick donation? Yeah, yeah, go for it. We have $100 from Bananas in Pajamas, who says congratulations to all the runners and amazing GDQ team. Can't wait for the Mega Man block. Thanks for supporting such an amazing cause. And Mega Man runners, be careful with those pesky disappearing blocks. There you go, that's the Yoku box we were just talking about. <laughs> Would you like one more? Yeah, yeah. We have another hundred dollars from the Fragrance of Dark Coffee that says, love that little blue fellow with the arm cannon and that other very similar looking blue fellow with the arm cannon and that third blue cyber jumpsuit guy with the arm cannon. Good luck on all the runs today. Uh, also, just an update, we're uh, only $2,000 away on getting Beat the Bird in Mega Man 5. So, we're making progress. Let's go. Beat is a good bird, so definitely definitely get some in for that. All right, so yeah, we just skipped through like a ton of stuff here in Fireman stage. There's another little, that's one of my favorite strats, a little jump over that fire, fire enemy. Which, that fire enemy is from Mega Man 2. So I don't know why that that enemy is in this game. This is a remake of Mega Man 1. But fire, we're gonna use bomb. Bomb is another soft, soft weakness. Uh, but the reason why we use bomb is all oh, the double shot. It's because we can just do this with our timing right. <laughs> this this uh, fireman used to be a huge pain for me. It used to take a lot of damage until I found that you can just use bomb and just keep pushing him into the corner. So that was that was our last robot master. And we are we are on to the Wily stages. So yeah, this is Wily 1. It's 
pretty close to the original. There's no section with the floating platforms. But we're gonna... Same old. Oil slick. Oh, hello. Alright, accidentally lost the oil slick there. We took two hits from the big eyes, which is typical. Which means we're probably gonna end this level at very low health. And you see, when you're on the oil slick, you can uh, you can take hits from enemies, and you don't lose it. You just you just take damage, which is different than. Uh, all right, we made all the corner jumps. Cool. So if you do this this right, and you took that damage, we're gonna end with one HP. For famously one of the hardest bosses on the NES, right? If you don't use the the uh, select trick, uh, it's supposed to be one of the hardest bosses. Yeah, if you've got a donation or two, you can go for it during this fight. Sure thing, we have donations. We have $100 from Gene Freak, who says, beat, beat, beat. Beat is the word, and beat is also the bird that you should be donating for so we can see the bird, yeah? Um, we also have $100 from Mad Mega, who says, stoked for this mega block stuffed full of wonderful runners showing off underappreciated Mega Man games. Keep up the great work. Right. Is there time for one more? Uh, yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, we have $15 from NobleBoy77, who says, Hey there, Mega Runners. This is NobleBoy speaking this time in the year again. Have to donate for my favorite block of all marathon, the Mega Man block. Good luck to everyone. Bust the, out those robots and mavericks and fight everlasting peace. All right, so you just saw the Yellow Devil. Not exactly as hard as in the original. So I was doing a buffer strat there. So if you don't know what a buffer strat is, instead of actually trying to just time out by looking uh, my shots, I was, as soon as his eye was closed, I would do a full jump and then immediately do another full jump. And if you do, do that timing, like that's as soon as his eye opens, you shoot the, the second jump. And this level, we're, we're playing Wily, this is Wily 3 in the original, but in the new style, they switched it and it is now Wily 2. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they fully intended you to do this. <laughs> uh, I think they expected you to run along with the current, but with our trusty oil slick, which floats on water, we get to just skip this whole level <laughs> and turns it into the easiest level in the game. Here we have uh, the the bubble robot. Unfortunately, there's no dupes. There's a glitch in the original where you can do a frame perfect trick to duplicate these blocks. Uh, but in this version, the fastest is to just do a mix of charge shots and regular shots mashing. Oh, last shot. So, ideally, like right down here, that was pretty good. You want to get all of them like that before they start to move up. That was pretty good. But uh, all, uh, all weapons do the same amount of damage once it gets down to the, the little core. So, it's... you just use Busker. It's the, the fastest. And if you had really good mashing, you can, you can kill him pretty fast. Now we're up to... Wily 3. This is the refights. We're gonna use our oil slick here to do a couple of little skips. So yeah, we're playing on easy. You, you see these, these little check mark or plus boxes right here? You see them, like, throughout. Those are... Those are only on easy mode. I believe they're gone on normal and hard. So they're a nice little help here. So we're gonna go through the the strategies for the the fights in the refights are they're almost identical. The only one that is gonna be different is oil because now we have we have fireman's power. Our our goal for most of these is just going to be to stun lock them. So there's a little shield that, that flies around you, you'll see. That is what I'm trying to hit him with. Because you kind of have two chances with that. There we go. And one more. 
So this is like a... I think that might be his full weakness, but it doesn't doesn't have that long of iframes you see. And we're gonna up the bomb, reuse cut. And yeah, you can go for donations throughout these refights. I got a donation here from Psy Zero for $25, who says, loving the informative run from White Hat 94. I think that's you. Huge thank you to GDQ for putting together such a great event for such a great cause. Time for one more? Yep, yeah. Got $25 from Ghost070, who says, been watching GDQ for years. Glad I could donate this year. Always love the games, runs, and people that make it happen. Warning. All right, so Cutman here. You saw he got, he was very close during the, the fight during his actual stage. But this room is, this room is much bigger than uh, the, the boss room in his own level. So we're actually able to keep him at a distance pretty easily. We're gonna get him down to the four HP here and then fly your shot, there we go. So that, that one, that fight's slightly different because you're able to, you're able to keep your distance. And this next fight against Alec, we saw I, I failed to, to start the, uh, the stun lock in his own fight. I was able to recover, but this, you start off a little bit further away, so it's pretty easy to get on here. Like, that's, that's all you have to do. And then you just hold back and you go really slow. This one, this is, this one is not my fault. He, he, he continues to run into me. I'm not going to take blame for this one. I'm just going for a leisurely ride on my oil slick. And if he happens to run into me, he happens to run into me. I can't, I can't be blamed for that. The other bosses, sure, I'm I'm being a little bit of a bully. I won't I won't deny. But we're back to time man. This fight's exactly the same. We're gonna go for five hits on the first the first cycle, three on the next, three on the next. So we go for two ground shots here. Two, and then he's gonna jump. Four. There's our five. Now he's gonna be invincible. And we're gonna try three hits here. Two on the ground, one in the air. And then same for this cycle, two on the ground, one in the air, and then we're going to hit him with his weakness, a whack. And that, that's how time man goes. Yeah, you can go for some more donations while we get up to fireman. Just did the regular old stun lock there. Back to Iceman. Same strat here. We're gonna use Buster until it gets down to six health and then use Bomb. Fight is a little easier because we don't have ice physics on the floor now. Oh, he's hitting us. Sometimes he just gets lucky and gets a shot out. There we go. Fine. And then strat for Gutsman coming up is going to be exactly the same also. We're going to hit him with eight shots of elect, which we only have eight. So I can't miss any. In his original fight, I was able to miss one and it would still be fine. This time, we, uh, we don't want to miss any. But yeah, the iframes are pretty short, which is why this this weapon is so good. And then one charge shot to finish him off. He would he would get stunned for at least twice as long as those elect shots were doing if you hit him with like a charge shot like that. So yeah, that's the refights. They're they're not not too tough. Like I said, there's not really any RNG with them as long as you. You do the fight the same way. And we're climbing up to go fight our clone. Oh, get up there. Yeah, this is this is a, a really fun game to to 
like reroute out and come up with new strats for. Uh, I actually got a PV last or yesterday, yesterday afternoon. It was like a seven second record improvement. Like I said, this game goes by in game time. And uh, so here we have a clone fight. Best strat is just use the uh, charge shot. So you, you, you have, there's actually two different, oh, use Cutman, ooh. Uh, you have two different versions of the charge. Uh, there's a really short one and one that gets like really big. And there's, oh, 311, that was, that was a good, really good refights. 311 is good. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah, we're on the final level. We're gonna do a little oil slick. This this hallway looks really annoying, but oil slick can ride across across two tile gaps. So we're just gonna do that instead of messing with that. Don't get distracted by the giant skulls in the background, even though they look cool. And yeah, we're just gonna oil slide into Wiley. And yeah, if you have any donations, go for it. I do indeed have a donation for you. Yui Haruhara donates $5 and says, so happy I got here in time for my favorite Mega Man game, Mega Man Powered Up. I played this game so much back in 2006. So glad to see it on the GDQ schedule, putting my money to playing Mega Man 2 on the Wily Wars. Very awesome. Yeah, this, this is, I feel like not too many people have played this. It's pretty... Like, it was only on the PSP. I don't think it's been on any re-releases. Here we have Dr. Wily. This is the final fight. Uh, best weapon is just the charge shot. Again, charge shot stuns him. So if you're getting really good shots like that, he doesn't even move. And time is going to be coming up on the final hit. And it's going to be two more hits. And... Time. All right, that, that was that was a really solid run. I'm pretty happy with that. I have, might have to go back and look at what my in-game time was. Like I didn't have I didn't have very many big mistakes. And then you get the the typical uh, Mega Man One style walking to the uh, the end here. But yeah, I was ha happy to. Uh, to lead off this little uh, Mega Man block. Yeah, up next, there's going to be, I think, either Mega Man Extreme 1 or 2, which is another portable sort of remake reimagining of a Mega Man game. Then we've got The Wily Wars, which is another remake. And then we have Mega Man 5 up last. So kind of a bunch of undersung Mega Man games all in a row. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the anime. Uh, drawings of all the bo the uh, the boss masters here. Yeah, highly. If you think this game looks fun, like I would recommend it. Uh, emulators are allowed. Uh, this game is done by in-game time, so that eliminates any loading differences between either original system or emulator. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm White Hat and. Yeah, enjoy the uh, rest of SGDQ. Thank you, White Hat, for the amazing run. We have time for just a quick donation before we take another brief break. We have $30 from Nijimari, who says, I just got into the Mega Man series recently thanks to a few good friends. So, of course, I had to donate for the block and for my boy Beat. So excited to see the rest. And reminder, beat the bird. It's a bird. We love birds, right? We love all animals. 
Think good thoughts of Beat on this beautiful break. Welcome back, everybody, to SGDQ 2022. And I'm going to send you off to an interview. But first, I must say goodbye because we're leaving you in the capable hands of another host. Thank you, everyone, for having me. I've been Pippi in a top hat, and now it's interview time. Welcome back, everyone. You are watching Summer Games Done Quick 2022. I keep wanting to say online, but it's not just online. No, it's not. We're here with everyone. It's amazing. It. <laughs> I'm not, I, I am not over saying that. I am Mr. Game and Shout. I'm joined by the incredible Frozen Flygon. Hello, good morning, afternoon, whatever time zone it is for right. you watching. Thanks for being here with us. We have some incredible prizes to tell you about and to show you. But first, we do want to take a minute and just talk a little bit about self-care real quick because this is a long marathon. Yeah, you, you absolutely need to pace yourself. You need to make sure you're staying hydrated, that you're feeding yourself, and, you know, not staying up all hours of the night to watch the marathon, you know, get, right. try and get some naps in, get some sleep. Right. We all need that. Sleep, stay <laughs> hydrated like our friend Mareep. See, this is a good example of Mareep. <laughs> if you're staying hydrated, you should stay hydrated. Absolutely. And also be sure to be checking out the website for all the runs we have going on and the amazing prizes you can win. You want to talk yes. about some of these prizes? Absolutely. We have some amazing stuff. So what we're going to show you right now is some of the prizes that we've got available right now through the end of Yakuza Like a Dragon a little bit later today. So you've got some time, but not a ton. Get those donations in. All of the prizes that are available in this block, a $25 minimum donation will get you entered to win all of them. Not counting the day prizes and the grand prize, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get started, though, with this Mega Man X2 
bike intro sent into us by Studio Pen Pen. There we go. Try and make sure that that's nice and on camera. $5 minimum donation gets you entered to win this. Just a beautiful print of the opening scene from Mega Man X2. Absolutely lovely. Once again, $5 minimum donation will get you entered to win this one. Yeah, absolutely. Because we have this Mega Man block, we have so many amazing Mega Man prizes right. that have been donated. We also have this amazing Wily world painting from Puzzle Piece. You know, we've got the silhouette of a Wily. Yep. We've got the striking blue and red swirl right there. there. And that's going to be a $10 minimum donation given to us by Puzzle Piece. He's been a longtime donator of amazing oh, yeah. prizes like this. So thank you so much, Puzzle Piece. And be sure to get your $10 minimum donation for that. Definitely. Uh, we also have some decals and patches, I believe. Yeah, we do. So if you go to gamesonquick.com, check the track, you can see pictures of all the prizes we have available, including the Mega Man patches and decals. It's a set of seven. So for a $15 minimum donation, there are four patches and three decals of symbols from the Mega Man series. So you can put them all over your stuff. And they look super amazing. Wolf Shadow did a fantastic job. So $15 for the entire set. Indeed. Thank you so much for sending that into us. Also, for a $15 minimum donation, you are entered to win this set of four pins, courtesy of Fangamer. We have a Mega Man X uh, Dr. Light capsule. Ooh. There we go. We have Rush that's got a little uh, working. Aww. This spring actually works. I don't want to push it too hard, but it does work. It that's does incredible. Work. Right? I love it's that. So cute. It's interactive. Uh, we have Met, who is shy, but that's okay. Okay, this does open. I promise, there we go. There it's open. <laughs> a little bit. I'm trying to be gentle. I don't want to break the prizes. And then uh, Dr. Wiley's capsule, which also opens. That's reveal. fantastic. That's right. so great. And you get the entire set. All four of them, $15 minimum donation, and you are in to win. Fantastic. All right, and then in addition to all of our awesome Mega Man prizes, we've got this friendo from Dragon Quest. Indeed, we have a slime. It's little. It's cute. It, it wouldn't harm a fly. It is uh, silicone slime. Courtesy of Cute Monster Props, $20 minimum donation will get you in to win this one. Uh, I love the stand with the little battle text on it. And it's just a cute little friend. It's adorable. I want it. I can't have it. You can have it. $20 minimum donation gets you in to win. And speaking of adorable, I mean, I know one of your one of the friends you've been boy. seeing around the set so far. <laughs> ah, it's this. a prize. I love you this can guy. win. <laughs> Yes, we have from Pincushion Cat Plushies for a $25 minimum donation, you can get in to win this Jumbo Chocobo plush. This is, so I mean, there are plushes that are like soft and really squishy. This is a hefty boy. It is. This it's is, really solid. It's very solid, but it's incredibly snuggly, and I just, I just love it. This is, this is one of my absolute favorites. And you could have your own Chocobo. $25 minimum donation gets you into win this and all of the other prizes that we have available from now through the end of Yakuza a little bit later today. Also, we have two day prizes. These have opened up with uh, Luminous Avenger and will be available through the end of Mario Party mm -hmm. later today. So these are two day prizes that we have. Starting off for a $50 minimum donation from the Chain Nerd, we have, that's backwards, this oh. Wiley's Castle Chainmail Inlay. 16,707 individually woven chain links in this. I have done the littlest bit of work with chain mail and that was like half inch rings. These are what, quarter inch, if that. They are so tiny, but absolutely gorgeous, wonderfully composed, truly one of a kind. $50 minimum donation will get you into in this. Yeah, absolutely. And then we also have from Valve a Steam Deck. Oh, yeah. And so that's mm -hmm. just absolutely amazing. This is the 512 gigabyte version as well. So you can fit all the games you want to be playing on there from the comfort of your hotel room, your home. You can play them all on this amazing Steam Deck provided to us by Valve for a $100 single donation throughout the day today. Exactly. Thank you so much, Valve, for sending that in. And then, of course, if you put in the $100 for this, you're halfway towards the grand prize pack from Heroic Replicas. The Sly Cooper Kane, the Falchion from uh, Fire Emblem, the Celeste Vinyl Pin, the Kinstone, the Orb, the Mermaid Pendant. See, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to learn all of them eventually. I'm There's just so many amazing <laughs> things in it. It's, it's already fantastic. Tuesday. Why don't I know this? <laughs> ah! So $200 cumulative donation will get you in to win 
that grand prize pack. That's $200. If all your donations throughout the marathon meet or exceed that number, you are automatically entered to win. I know it seems like we've got a lot of time left, but it's already Tuesday morning. So mm -hmm. please get those donations in. And while you're doing that, again, gamesdonequick.com. Clom? Com. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, click on the donate link. Let's go there. While you're there on the donate page, check out some of our incentives because the next two games that we have open are Bid Wars, I believe. Yeah, you get to choose what game's going to be played in the marathon. That's just absolutely incredible. We had the interview earlier with the Blacktastic and with Focus Site talking about those games. So whichever one sounded the, the best to you, get those donations in. I know both of those Bid Wars are pretty close. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't even see where we're at for Extreme versus Extreme 2. So hopefully... That does, okay, so... I need, I need to find out what we're playing next. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up so we can find that out. Uh, it looks like Focus Sight is going to be ready to go soon with either Mega Man Extreme or Extreme 2. I don't know which. Let's go find out. Thanks again, everybody. I've been Mr. Game and Shout. This is Frozen Flygon. We'll see you again a little bit later today. Take care. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shout, and thank you, Corp, for that excellent prize segment. And to all of you out there, good morning, GDQ! You are watching Summer Games Done Quick 2022. We are live here in Bloomington, Minnesota, powered by Twitch and raising money in support of Mental Sans Frontier. My name is Iggy Zig. I am your host. And we're having a pretty good time, I gotta say. Let me tell you, as we transition to these online runs, for the on-site runs, things are gonna get a little extreme. Focus Sight is setting up for his run of Mega Man Extreme 2. It's gonna be 100% extreme mode run. And thanks to your contributions, we are gonna be seeing the boss rush right after that run. It's gonna be a fantastic time, and it is coming up momentarily. So much hype for this Mega Man block, this event. Probably one of the best ones top to bottom, this GDQ history. We started off with Luminous Avenger, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that powered up run was just, ah, yeah, 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 super cute. Chet, can you corroborate the veracity of that statement? I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. But why am I trying to hype it up? I have some donations right here. Blazing Chaos with a $100 donation says, Yes, Mega Man, Rock Man, this is it. This is the block I was waiting for. Thank you so much, Blazing Chaos. We do appreciate it. And I do know that a few of you out there are probably wondering and asking yourselves, what am I donating for? I was only going to do it once, don't worry. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Dodge Without Borders, also known as Médecins Sans Frontières, is an international medical humanitarian aid organization providing life-saving medical humanitarian care in over 70 countries and around the world. MSF is committed to independence, impartiality, and neutrality. These principles or make it possible for MSF to respond rapidly to emergencies and provide life-saving medical care in situations where many other organizations can't or won't. 90% of MSF staffs is national, meaning they live locally and are from the country where they work. And if you ever want to find out more about the life-saving work they do around the world, I want you to head over to their website, www.msf.org. Check them out. They are amazing. And we are supporting an amazing cause. Let's keep it going, everybody. And on the subject of incentives, I do see that we have Mega Man 5 get beat.